Welcome back, Western Slope. It is my favorite day of the week, and we're here with Jenna from Roycehurst with a very, very special, cute guest. Can you tell me who this is? Yes, this is Brooklyn, and she is, <laughs> she is one of very many puppies at the shelter right now. <laughs> I like to call her Brookie Cookie. You could call her Brooklyn. It's up to you. But how old is Brooklyn? Brooklyn is about four months old, um, and she has three brothers also at the shelter, maybe four. <laughs> Three or four brothers, so she's the only girl of the litter, but she is definitely the one that tells them what to do. She's, she's definitely the spunkiest of the litter, <laughs> and um, she likes to steal her brother's food. So, <laughs> Well, I'm sure she's excited to be out and having a girl's day right yes. now. Yeah. <laughs> she's loving this couch. But you said she's about four weeks, or excuse me, four months old, um, and she's not ready to go home yet. All, right. the, all the puppies need to be spayed and neutered, but that's in motion. But you said um, that you might need some fosters. Can you tell me about that? Yes, we have so many puppies at the shelter right now, and they all need foster homes, so including Brooklyn. So if you are interested in taking home a cute little <laughs> puppy or two for a week or two until they get adopted, that is very much needed at Roycehurst right now. A lot of our kennels are full of really adorable puppies just waiting to come to your house for a couple of weeks. Yeah, who doesn't want that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do they just need to fill out an application online to foster, and how does that process go? Yeah, so if you fill out a foster application on our website at rhhumanesociety.org, our foster coordinator will reach out to you, and you'll basically just watch a video, an orientation video, all about fostering, and then we... Uh, we'll provide all of the supplies, vet care, anything you need to take care of a puppy, we provide <laughs> that. And then they will get adopted shortly after their spay neuter surgeries. And um, then if you want another puppy, you can take home a different puppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I do want to talk more about Brooklyn. We weren't sure what kind of dog she is, right? But you think she should maybe end up to be about a medium sized dog? Yeah, so she and her brothers came in um, to our Delta facility as strays. So we don't <laughs> know for sure what kind of dog they are. My guess, because she's four months old, she'll probably end up being a medium-sized dog. Um, as for breed, it's a total mystery. I have no idea, but they're all really cute. <laughs> yeah, purebred <laughs> cuteness, <Yes>. okay? <laughs> all right, any fun events that are coming up for Roycehurst? Um, let's see, well, not a fun event, but we do have a uh, grief group for people who have lost their pets coming up. Um, I believe that is, um, in August, you can go on our website and see the date and the time on our website at rhhumanesociety.org slash grief group. So if you have lost a beloved pet and you need some support, we are here for you in that grief group. Okay, well, thank you for bringing in Miss Brooklyn, telling us about those events that are coming up and of course that fantastic opportunity to foster. So go in, check out some of those puppies and of course those dogs and cats that are all up for adoption or you can always donate online.